Good day to you. What makes a good research paper? It's a skill that you learn to cultivate by the time that you graduate college. And one of the classes that contributes to that skill is the one that you're taking right now, comparative media. By virtue of being a 400 level class, it is also therefore a research class. And so today we are assigning two research-based assignments. One is really to help the other, which is to say the proposal helps the paper. But we are assigning both of those today so that you can begin your research assignment and note on the syllabus when both of these things are due. So to start out with, for the research proposal, what you are being asked to do is to select two different samples of media content one from a foreign country and one from the United States. When I say samples, I don't mean an entire television show, like The Office is a, has been a big comedy TV show here in the US, and there's also a, a UK version of The Office as well. I don't mean the whole series, I mean one particular episode from each show, that's what you would be comparing. Now the paper that is under the content tab, under this, that speaks to this subject about research papers, you can consult on your own and get more details, but essentially you're picking that particular media sample, one in France, one in the US, or one in England, one in the US, or one in Ecuador, one in the US, etc. And you're comparing variables to describe a social theme. Now, social theme is not something that exists out there. I've actually made it up for this class, so I want you to pay attention to what it is designed to, to get at. A social theme is the commentary that emerges from your media samples, commentary that makes a statement about the society of the country from where the media samples come. So in other words, one idea for a research study might be to look at two different cooking shows, one from the United States, one from, say, France. And to ask the question, what is the social theme here in terms of both of these, what are they saying is good food? Okay, good food. Now we can break down that concept of good food into some variables. Variables, For example, one may be the look of the food. Another may be the relative health of the food. Another may be the taste of the food. Another may be whether the food is organic. You can break it down into many different areas, but the main social theme there is what makes good food according to these two media samples. That's what you're going to be comparing. So now it's your task to read both of these documents in D2L, to read the research proposal assignment, and then to read the research paper assignment, and then to note on the syllabus what the due dates are. And when you have completed your proposal, you will be better prepared to do the paper. The proposal primes the pump. It gets you started. It gets you focused. Okay, so that's your assignment for today, which means that on Thursday we will pick back up with quizzes and readings. If you have any questions about the research paper or the research proposal, you can email those privately. Have a great day.